Hey y'all, I have another grocery haul for you. And today, this grocery haul is in two parts because I had to do a pickup from Walmart and then I had to do a pickup from Kroger. So this is the first part. This is my Walmart grocery haul. So if you'll come over to the table, I'll show you what we got. All right, we'll start out with chili powder. I'm gonna be making chili tonight for supper, so I needed some chili powder. I also make my own taco seasoning, so I needed it for that as well. And I usually buy the big container, but they were out at Walmart. Then I bought some grapes. Taco Doritos, and I'm going to be using these for a recipe. Some saltine crackers, some of this Starbucks white chocolate mocha, and we haven't tried this before, but it was a request from one of my kids, so we're going to be trying this. Then Snickers coffee creamer for my youngest son. Then I picked up some mozzarella cheese, two of these one pound bricks of sharp cheddar, Then I got some sausage and some green onions for a recipe that's coming up. And then today was National Popcorn Day, so they put this in my order for free, if you want to say it was free. Then these blueberry bagels and some hot dog buns that are going to go with the smoked sausages that are going to go with the chili tonight for those that want chili dogs. Then I got a package of the country ham biscuit slices, two packages of bacon, and then a milk, a half and half, then two boxes of these peanut butter cookie brownie bars um, because I'm going to do them in a 9 by 13 pan, so I needed two of those. Then some Nutella. I can't remember. Yeah, I said hot dog buns. Then I bought some Better Than Bouillon roasted chicken base for some recipes, some Italian seasoning, some butterscotch chips, two packages of butter, some sour cream, and I actually had Daisy sour cream in my pickup order, but they were out, so I had to get the Great Value brand. Two, pack, two cans of flaky layer biscuits. One of those is going to be for um, a new recipe. Then I bought some, I hadn't, I hadn't purchased this in forever, but I got some blueberry cheesecake muffin mix and some strawberry muffin mix. Then back here in the freezer stuff, I bought this four pack of uh, Totino's party pizzas just for quick lunches. Then some chicken strips, then a big bag, because it was cheaper to get the big bag, of the Checkers Famous Season Fries. Then some pecans. I wanted chopped pecans, but they were out, so I just got the big bag of um, halves, and I can chop those up in the food processor. I think I said butter, two packs of butter. Some Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Some of these chewy peanut butter dips for snack. A big thing of peanut butter. Then I was out of sugar, and I like buying my sugar from Costco, but I haven't made it to Costco in a while. It's about an hour away from us. So I just picked up the organic great value cane sugar. Then I picked up two of the Equate fluoride-free toothpaste. We really like this brand. Then one of the Hello Watermelon flavor. Uh, a couple of cans of cream of chicken soup for a recipe that's coming up. Then back here, I wanted the Great Value Donut Shop Coffee. Of course, they were out of it, so I had to go in and pick up the regular, the name brand, Donut Shop. A case of eggs, a box of the 24 Family Tea Bags of Iced Tea. Then I had a request for these crackers just for snacks and a pack in um, lunch boxes, so I got those. It's a variety pack. Then this mug, of course, is Pioneer Woman. My younger son bought me one. It got broken, so I replaced it today. Then some flossers, some Dixie Cups, the Great Value brand, and then I actually purchased this dispenser, this Dixie Cup dispenser, because um, I was finding Dixie Cups everywhere, all over the bathroom. So I got those, and then moving over here to the non-food items, some trash bags, some whiteout that I needed, a couple of notebooks, a composition book, and a spiral bound, some light bulbs, some paper plates, a couple of cat treats, some milk bones, and then I didn't bring up. I also got a big bag of cat food and some cat litter, but we just left it downstairs uh, in the basement, and I didn't want to bring it up for the haul. But anyway, my Walmart portion was $280.03, so that brought my total for the two combined grocery hauls. You're going to see the second grocery haul. Um, as well and that brought it up to the total for everything was four hundred and seventy eight dollars and twenty seven cents so 
this grocery haul was somewhat of a big one because we were out of a lot of items that we needed. So my total was $478.27. Thanks. Now I'm back with the second part of my haul since I had to go to two different places. This is the Kroger portion of my grocery haul because my orders weren't ready at the same time. So now I'm going to show you guys what I got and then let you know what my total for Kroger was. Now for the Kroger portion of my haul. And Kroger this time had some things in my pickup order that weren't quite right, but that's okay. I didn't want to fool with changing it out. So we'll start over here with all the chips. I know it looks like a lot of chips, but they have um, Fridays and Saturdays, their special kind of deal for the week, which I'm sure all of you know if you have a Kroger nearby. But this week it was Doritos. So they were $1.49 a bag. So I got two of the Cool Ranch and two of the Nacho Cheese. And then a bag of the All Dress, a bag of Crunchy Cheetos, Cheetos Puffs, then a package of the Wavy Plain Chips, and Salt and Vinegar. So that's all the chips. Then I picked up some M&M Minis. I saw a recipe on another vlog. I want to give a try with those. Then they had their fruits on sale. I bought a package of blueberries. It's a pint of blueberries. And then some strawberries and a pineapple. Then I picked up some bread, the Dave's Killer White Bread. Some celery. I had actually ordered just like the whole stalk of celery and they substituted it for the celery hearts, which was fine. Then I picked up some cereals. I rarely ever buy cereal, but this time I had some requests for cereals. So I had for cereal. So I had one that wanted Honey Nut Cheerios. They were on sale, so I picked up that box. I picked up some Raisin Bran for me. And then this one, which was just a fun cereal, Chips Ahoy, that was on sale. And then um, one of my kids wanted some Honey Bunches of Oats. So I bought some cereal for us to stock up. We were out of pretty much everything. So this was, this haul is just pretty much a big stock up haul. I needed some unbleached all-purpose flour. And I really like this brand, the Organic Simple Truth brand. So I picked that up. I had a coupon for that as well. Then I bought two bags of the Southern Style Hash Brown Diced Potatoes for a recipe, a potato soup recipe that I'm going to try out. Then I picked up a package of these bagel bites, and I actually ordered the pepperoni bagel bites, and then when I got home, I noticed that it was the three cheese. Um, my husband says he'll eat these. I can add pepperonis onto it for the kids, but I was just kind of like, uh. So anyway, that one wasn't quite right, but that's okay. Then they had their bag of chicken breasts on sale for their Friday and Saturday deal for $4.99 for this big bag. So I picked this up. It says three pounds, so three pounds of the boneless skinless chicken breasts. So I got those. Then I picked up some black forest ham and some bologna. And then ground beef, each of these are three pounds, so I have six pounds of ground beef. Then a package of American cheese singles, two things of cream cheese. Then I picked up some potatoes. And then this is probably my favorite coffee creamer. One of my favorites, if not my favorite, the coconut caramel. So I picked that up. We were completely out of coffee creamers. Then I picked up two packages of chicken breast. These were $1.99 a pound, so I picked up two of these. Then this was another mix-up on their part. I ordered a regular size can of the cream style corn, and for some reason I got this little bitty mini one because I'm going to be making uh, corn pudding. But I actually have a can of this already, so I'll just use the bigger one. But I got that, and then a can of whole kernel corn, and then two cans of pinto beans, Two cans of crushed tomatoes, because I'm getting ready to make chili. And then a container of orange juice. And then wheat thins, which were reduced fat, and I did not order reduced fat. And the box was torn all to smithereens, so we had to tape it up. But my kids have already gotten into these and tasted them and said they taste just like the original. So I'm not going to fool with taking that back. Then a gallon of whole milk, a half a gallon of buttermilk to make biscuits and pancakes. And then a couple of boxes of Neosporin, some shampoo, some shampoo and conditioner. And then I picked up the drinks that were on sale that will last a couple of weeks. And then a package of paper towels 
and toilet paper. So that's all on this haul. And my total for this haul was right here. 198.24. So that was the second portion of my grocery haul. Thanks. Thanks for watching this haul. Down below in the description box, I will put my menu plan for this week. And you can take a look at what I'm going to be having or we're going to be having with all the groceries that I bought this week. Thanks for stopping in. And I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thanks so much.